find discovery. Foreign group detect how Peter Obi's vote was diverted to Tunubu in Ekot Ekmene, report Einek. Einek is finished. Einek is finished. Yes, they are finished. Because looking at what is happening right now, eh? It is very clear that Einek knows everything concerning the rigging of this presidential election. You see, it was unknown to them that eyes were on them. They thought that even with the, uh, with the so-called beavers that they introduced to Nigerians, that they can be able to manipulate their way. They never knew that the whites, who are the, fa the, the, the fathers, the founding father of technology, knows how to, you know, detect it. They don't know. Now, look at, do you know that investigation is already on now? Do you know that investigation is already on? They are investigating the, the INEC chairman now. All the results that the INEC chairman claimed that he, he, he called, that pronounced Tunubu the winner, those records are now on screening. Yes. They are in court now. So the INEC chairman, in essence, is in a hot seat. In a very hot seat. So I wonder how he's going to save his ass. I wonder. So those people that are, yes, that are standing in support of the INEC chairman, be prepared. Be prepared. Because there is no escape area. Eyes are seriously on him now. Seriously on him. Abby? Uh -huh. Let us check the content. This is today's news. The Aquaibum Integrity Alliance has joined in the call for security agencies and the Independent National Electoral Commission to probe reports of Togri, vote buying, rigging, and voter intimidation in Ikot Ekmane Senatorial District during the February 25th. 2023 presidential and national assembly elections. The civil society group claimed that from evidence gathered during the polls, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, garnered the most votes cast in all the local governments across the senatorial district. But unfortunately, the votes were given to Bola Ahmed Tunubu, the APC candidate. Briefing journalists in Uyo on Monday, the chairman of the group, Stephen Abia, wondered what went wrong after agents and observers on the field in Ikot Ekbene reported a widespread victory for Obi in the senatorial district only for the votes to be dramatically upturned in favor of Tunubu. Hmm. My people. <laughs> ah, no be sporty, no be sporty. Well, um, I will say what I want to say, and if I finish, you can criticize me. Oh, um, you see, from the one APC is already threatened APC has been threatened from the one they have been threatened they have seen labor as a big threat because why because they know the person that is coming out they know that that very person that is coming out is is probably the, the liberator the liberator of this very country And that is why when you look at this properly, you will see that 
almost everything that is happening right now was prophesied was prophesied earlier was prophesied earlier but many of us we don't know we don't know look at it now exactly what was prophesied by pastors clerics and people is what is going on they said it the winning will be given to Tunubu, but it will be taken to court for Peter will be to be victorious. Now look at all the detections that is being checked out. Oh Allah, we are on the matter. The truth is dashing out. Is dashing out. Let us hear you and let's know what your take and your opinion on what has just been revealed. Don't forget to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.